Hello friends, mina ganu tumi. In this video, we are still playing gym, and again we will use layer masking to support the effect of photo manipulation. What is that? That is the effect of miniature manipulation. So the image will focus to a certain area of the object, while other areas have a blur effect. This tutorial is still adapted from the Adobe Photoshop tutorial. For the latest Adobe Photoshop, can directly use the feature selective blur. If not mistaken, that is name. Yes. Anyway, I have not used other Photoshop after five years. Although at that time I only use a simple feature. If in gym, we will use layer masking to separate objects that are affected by blur effect and not exposed to blur effect. Here later we don't just focus on the layer masking and blur, but here we will learn how to custom gradient in gym. Because custom gradient is useful to support our layer masking later. Okay, let's see the final design here. Like this, here, here's the effect we'll make later. Uh, I mean, a uh, miniature effect. This is a uh, photo after editing, and this is a uh, photo before editing. Before and after. Okay, we open Jim. Here we open a picture of city with crowd of cars. File open. Click open. This picture or photo I got from Big Sabi. Okay, here I change the layer name with the name. City. Before applying the effects of blur and layer masking, we will change the color sharper because the color in this photo I think less sharp. Duplicate this layer. Here I change the layer name with the name City HSV, and then choose color, and then choose colors, and select levels. Here I give you number uh twenty, and here I give you number two hundred twelve. Click OK. Choose colors again, and select hue saturation. Here I give you number nine for hue. Here I give you number two for lightness, and here I give you number sixty one for saturation. And then click OK. And the next, duplicate the city HSV layer. Here I change the layer name with the name of city blur. And then give a blur effect with select filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Here I give it number 30 for blue radius. Or you can set it with another number. Here I use a with number thirty. Click OK. And then right click the city blue layer. And select add layer max. Here we select a white and click add. Okay. Then we will give the gradient color on the layer max. Click this plan tool. We don't directly use the gradient because we will make it. Click on this gradient step, and then create a new gradient, and then add segments. Right click here, and select a split segment uniformly. Here we will break into two segments. If you split into three segments and so on, you can slide here, like this. Because in here we use a two segments. Okay, click split. The scene, there is gradient. There are two segments like this. Here, four segments, and here. Uh, second segments, first and second segments. 
okay for this first segments click here we give a white color on the left side and black color on the right side right click in here and select left and points color give a black um, sorry a white color and click ok right click in here select right right and points color give a black color click ok ok move to uh, second segment click here we give a black color on the left side and white color on the right side ok ok right click in here select left endpoints color give a black color click ok right click in here select right endpoint endpoints color uh, give a white color click ok well here we have custom gradient here I give the name with the name uh, white black white we can also save this custom gradient gradient click save here we can also set the points in the gradient we have created example like this uh, you, you just select this point Okay, move to layer steps. You can use the scroll on the mouse in this area. Okay. Make sure you select uh, layer mix, not main layer. Select uh, layer mix like this. Okay. Click uh, blend tool, and then for gradient we select a uh, white, black, white like this drag the gradient here use the control key and hold it so that the result is perpendicular okay press control and hold and drag like this Okay, if we if we look the at the result of the gradient, you can right click this layer, and then check show layer max. Okay, like this, the gradient we created. We return the position of the all this layer. Right click and uncheck show layer max. Okay, up to this step. You have successfully created a miniature effect on the photo. You can certainly do it on another photo. That is for this gym tutorial. Sorry if I'm wrong. Thanks for watching this video. See you later on the next video.